we've moved now over into the slideshow module as you can see over here and it's pretty similar to using the other modules using the, the book module mostly similar to the book module notice at the top here we have unsaved slideshow and create save slideshow this is similar to working with an unsaved book and creating a saved book you're simply saving the book or the slideshow over to the collections on the left hand side of course we have our collections allowing us to work with different sets of pictures based upon our collections there is a template browser allowing you to look at different templates available we'll play with that a little bit and of course a preview went up here so you can see how the whole thing is looking on the right hand side pull it over here we go there are of course new options over here new tabs on the right side panel we have an options drop down a drop down for working with the layout a drop down for working with different things would be overlaid on top of your slideshow drop down for your background there we go a drop down for working with titles and a drop down to work with and control the playback of the slideshow but it's all pretty straightforward actually and of course preview and play options at the bottom notice of course that the film strip as always is still down here at the bottom so you can still find and choose which pictures you want to include inside of your slideshow let's just scroll this back over again a little bit here there we go across the top we have a couple of new menu items there's a slideshow menu now basic stuff creating your slideshow making new templates and folders and then exporting out to your final format unless we can export to PDF JPEG or video formats and there is a play menu which allows you to play the slideshow and see how the slideshow actually runs and works for you the view menu doesn't really have anything additional in here so we can ignore the view menu so there you go that's a quick look around in here notice right now also at the bottom of our main slideshow window we have a couple of options here all film strip photos selected photos or flagged photos so three different ways of grabbing photos to use in your slideshow and of course you can choose what's in the film strip based upon your collections for instance if I click over here on this one collection that gives me just those four pictures in that one collection so probably the first thing you want to do when you are setting up or creating a slideshow is to create a new collection and then use that collection as a basis for your slideshow okay well that's a quick look around then at the basic area I'm gonna pull for just a little bit just close that on on the side there just put a few more things here play button right there you can preview your play button and you can add text to your slide not a whole lot in here there's total duration information in there okay let's now move on and take a little closer look and begin to look at all the different options inside of the different panels on the left and right panel and we'll start off in the next video with a look at the preview and how that preview works